I, I turn around very slowly. But you know what? I can appreciate it. Um, I mean, as a game, it's a little annoying that it's slow, but it does beat just like 180ing on the spot. Because uh, it looks a little goofy. Ends in Istanbul as usual. Unfortunately, it will make most of its journey without me. Are you going to die, officer? This is the first car. The coal tender should be directly beyond this door, and in front of it, the engine. All right, what else we got here? Nothing, it seems. I'm just gonna weirdly waddle over. Very kind of you. Thanks. That was clearly on purpose. Pardon me. No, no, no problem. The uniform is waterproof, uh, Mr. Lucia. Did Did you Professor just spill Edgar like Lucia. spill that man's coffee Professor? all over yourself just so you could brag about your waterproof uniform? Do you teach at the Sorbonne? No, I work at the British Museum in London. You don't because you were know. clearly out of the way, and then the second he got in front of you, you're like, oh, oops. So, you were, shall we say, an eyewitness to the burglary two days ago. No, I wouldn't say that. Oh, no? There was a lot of commotion, but I didn't really pay much attention to it. There was a break-in in your museum, and it didn't concern you? Well... Let's just say that nothing that's happened in the last 2,000 years concerns me. <laughs> All right, then. Whatever you say. The famous Inspector Legrand is on this train. I imagine you know him. Uh, no. Should I? You don't know him? And you also... How do you not know the famous no. Legrand? Well, why should I? Just a thought. You're a representative of the British Museum. There's a guarded safe on the train. Cop, you are spilling way too much beans to come. just normal yeah, people. No, Maybe speak. this scientist is here to steal the vault. And you're just like, hey, did you know that vault's on this train? By the way, it's also in this car. car and if you wanted to, here's the plate. You know, here's how I would steal it. May I ask where you are going? Of course. To Venice. I'm going to meet some colleagues there. Oh, you Venice. don't sound very convinced. A beautiful city, so I'm told. Indeed. But I really have to take my leave now. My Just empty coffee isn't Did going to drink itself, you see. Anything unusual on the train? Here? On the train? No. I can't say that I have. Although I did spend most of the time in my compartment. I don't want to take up any more of your valuable time, but you do understand, don't you, that what concerns me is the present, and especially the robbery at the museum. Yeah, well, yeah, uh, of course, of do, course. do you know, okay, it's so just, when there's a robbery, uh, I'm in a uh, you, you know what you do, if you notice typically, unusual, you uh, question you everyone uh, in the museum. Probably, uh, maybe question some people around it. Uh, you don't take a train to a different city and then just bug civilians about your case that you can't solve. Compartment is locked, but I didn't lock it. I don't even have a key. I asked the steward; he was going to bring me one, but he never came back. Someone locked. Didn't come back with the key, huh? The steward must be murder. Calm down, Professor. I'll see what I can do. She kicks down the door. I have to get back in my compartment. All right, just wait here. He doesn't make a very balanced impression. And he, of all people, isn't bothered by a robbery in his own museum. Well, if it didn't take uh, any of his uh, possessions, I don't think he cares that much. Perhaps a thoughtful conductor noticed that Professor Lucien wasn't in his compartment and locked it. Why? Why would he lock it? Out of the way, man! You can easily lock the compartment door from inside by turning a little knob. But I didn't lock it! Professor, if you had locked the door from in there, you wouldn't be out here. Congratulations, uh, scientists. That's true. You've acquired the knowledge of how locked doors work. Try to open the lock. I don't have anything that I could do it with. Where did I get pills from? Pills. 
I'm supposed to take one if I have trouble. My daughter insisted that I take that with me. She was strongly against this little adventure. Well, your daughter might be right. To change my mind. What's the other thing? My I wallet. Last week at a flea market. I like it because it tells a story. I suppose the previous owner bought himself a newer one. This one still works just fine, though. What kind of goober buys a second-hand wallet? They're like ten dollars. And this is 1927, I think. 64, way off. Um. The little label on the door reads Baroness von Trebitz. Blue, Blue blood on the Orient Express. Express. Not in the Baroness' apartment? Sure, I'm bugging everyone else on this train. Yes, what is it? Whoever that is, James, ask them whether they found my purse and then closed the door. The noise on this train is driving me crazy. Ma'am, it's not the noise on this train, it's the noise of the train. You shouldn't have chosen such a loud form of transport. You're missing a purse. Was it stolen? At the very least, I cannot find it, sir. It was stolen! How do you know? When did you... When was the last time the Baroness saw her purse? What? In Zurich, on the platform, sir. I just asked where you last saw your purse. I think she can hear you. On the platform. Like, that, that compartment is a couple feet. The Baroness says, maybe you lost it there. What? The Baroness never loses anything, sir. I never lose anything. Very well, then. I shall be on the lookout for your purse. If I might ask you a few questions about your fellow passengers. I thought he was looking for my Man, I can ask you about what, more than just your purse. The Baroness wishes that you search for her purse. Okay, so she won't tell me anything until I get her purse. All right. First, the purse. I get, get in side quests. Thank you, sir. All right, unlock his door. Get her purse. Take my heart medication. You know what? This guy kind of looks like the neighbor from, uh, what is it? Hello, neighbor? I Bat never thought I'd ever meet you. Kind of looks like that. Me, but we it's bad neighbor? Bad neighbor? Hello, it's neighbor. I just played it recently. I should know this. Unfortunately, just a constable, Lady Westmacott. I'm reading The Vicarage in the Mirror right now, for the fifth time at least. That's nice, Constable uh, Zellner. Anton Jakob Zellner. This is my companion, Miss Miller. A pleasure. It was Hello Neighbor. What is she doing here, fellow passengers? Hey, eh, sure. Ask what you doing here? Are you on holiday? Holiday? Yes, so to speak. The first and last holiday of my life. Whoa! I've been writing since I was a little girl. It became my job, and you're gonna die. So this must be a holiday. You quit writing? Impossible. How I can you reports, quit writing your at your age? A perfectly favorite. reasonable then age to retire. I have bad news for you. I killed the old wretch off years ago. I. I don't understand. I'd rather not discuss my work, Constable. Oh, well, fine. Well, uh, well, that's a shame, because that's all I want to do. Are you traveling to Istanbul, Lady Westmacott? No, we are on our way to Venice. From there, we will take a ship to Cairo. As you may know, I have a penchant for archaeology. Why is everyone going to Cairo? I a few excavations in Egypt. I travel to Egypt by ship as a young woman. And now I'm doing it again as an old woman. I see. Fascinating. As a writer, you must be very observant. Am I right? I or mean, maybe she's just a good writer. study the behavior of people around you to create the characters in your novels, don't you? I solved the mystery of human nature a long time ago, Mr. Zelma. Since then, most people just bore me. Really? Like you. I had the impression you were eyeing me suspiciously as I came in. What do you want to know, Constable? 
Archaeologist finally is missing person. Did you notice the man who just walked into the next? I don't want to talk to about my work. Can we talk about your work? Us. Of course. The bar, the steward, and since the steward never appeared, he elected to help himself. He took two biscuits. He seems pretty young. Two biscuits? Now that's a the British Museum. Interesting. I mean, that's a call for a public hanging. Just out of courtesy, of course. Of course. Did you notice the blonde man with the violin case? <laughs> I certainly did. He introduced himself and tried to make a good impression. And then failed miserably, I take it. To wealth and fame, like moths to a flame. But his charms failed on you. I know him by name. David Kreutzer. He was a drain on my friend's purse. Do you think he has a money problem? People like him always have a money problem. No matter how much you give them, they always spend twice as much and complain that they have far too little. Ah, uh, yes. I know the type. Did you notice anyone else? What about the doctor or the baroness? I notice that you've asked me about everyone, except for the inspector who went in the direction of the freight car a few minutes well, ago. Well, now Is this might surprise you, madam. Made his name when that he wasn't a dialogue option. I quite so or I would have. Well, shot. Why don't you ask me about him and my theory about what he's doing here? Why don't you just tell me? Because that's how conversations work. Legrand's investigation in public. Legrand, right. That was his name. Will he save the day again? Or will you, Constable? I'm the player character, so it'll be me. I'm going to ignore the question and ask you about a purse. There's something else. A passenger's purse has gone missing. I suppose you haven't seen it. I'm sorry, Constable Zelda. As you know, I only deal with murder, not burglary. Well, what if the purse is a murderer? I'll go and do that now. As much as I'd like to keep talking, duty calls. You were right. Madam? I did observe you as you came in. You seemed so uh, eager. I... It's been a long time since I've had a chance to prove myself, madam. And this is it. Your chance. I do hope so. Then grab it. Even small people can make big changes. As my friend Ronald likes to say. Who's Ronald? Do my Ronald best. McDonald? Do you know Ronald? Can I talk to uh, Miss, Miss Miller Mrs. here? Miller made a good impression. She wanted to protect Lady Westmacott from me, a pushy admirer. Very good. Well, she did a poor uh, job at that because uh, you intense. talked her ear off. She has her work cut out for her with Matt, and a difficult. Oh, she's Ron Weasley's say. mom. Mrs. Miller made a good impression, but she, I imagine. Ah, uh -huh, I can skip things. Talk, with Mrs. Miller. Yes. Are you aware that your son has starred in nine? No. Set mm, eight Harry Potter films. The little boy, Matt. He's your son. Oh yes. Has he done something? No, no. I've already met him. Clever little fellow. We always call him Professor because he's so precocious. If only someone could just drive the mischief out of him. Did you notice anything unusual on the train? Oh, I'm afraid not. I was totally focused on my work. She's always got an awful lot to do, my Mary. You have to tell me if that's not all right with you. Good Lord, child. Knit as much as you want. So, nothing out of the ordinary? No, Constable. Nope, just knitting and ignoring my child, such as the 60s. The steward must have forgotten the toothpicks. Normally he would offer them discreetly after dinner. An extraordinary woman. Talented, No, I mean, I appreciate that I can skip things when I click something by mistake. Give me a toothpick. I think I can pick a lock with a toothpick. I'm gonna say no. But, uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not good at picking locks, so who knows. Alright, I'm not gonna talk to you. Can I get in back here? Look behind the bar. 
I suppose the steward won't object to me having a look around in his absence. I mean, I bet he will. Uh, what can we look at here? Examine the notepad. Examine the bowl. Butterscotch. I've loved them since I was a child. Their only drawback, they don't play nice with false teeth. Not a big fan of butterscotch. Take some sweets? Mm. Of course. Maybe if I just suck it. Examine the butterscotches. No. Examine the notepad. Pad on which the steward writes orders. Empty. Maybe he didn't use it because there's not much to do today. Well, yeah, there seems to be like three people. I'm just going to steal it. Pad, but the pencil might come in handy. Officer, you know everything you're doing is illegal? Examine the, the scissors. Steward probably uses the scissors on hard to open packages. These you know, days, like normal people. Everything is sealed up tight. A colleague recently told me about dry powdered soup and small bags. I couldn't believe it. Can't take the scissors. Examine the radio. Wave radio. It's amazing how small these things have become in the last ten years. And to think, and in another ten, we'll ignore it ever was invented. Mm, no. More like forty. A shortwave radio. It's amazing how small no. these things. Turn on. Mm. 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 Elevator music. That's my jam. Some of that wine in the background there looks an awful lot like uh, shampoo. Go outside or talk to... Dr. Gibbert. Excuse me, sir. I can see you're trying to mind your own business. Right. Mind if I bother Mr. you? Zen. Right, right. How can I help you? He is offensively German sounding. Tell me, did you notice. Oh, that's a bad camera angle. Ooh, boy. Except for the fact that my suitcase was stolen on the platform? No. Is there any reason to be concerned? No. Just routine. Constable Zerna, please don't think I'm naive. I spotted the inspector from Interpol. Lagarde is his name, if I recall correctly. Lebrand, if you say so. At the train station in Zurich, he put a cash box into the safe and then kept close watch as it was loaded on yeah, the Yeah, that's Don't his job. The man at his pay grade routinely chants across the Alps just to keep an eye on cash boxes. A cash box? Like the ones you'd find in safe deposit boxes? Precisely. And I believe we both have a good idea just what's inside. Money. I do indeed have a theory, but... Oh, What's you're one of those people. I know the answer, but I'm curious to hear what you have to say. Eyes of the Sphinx. The second jewel, an emerald, is rumored to be in a Swiss bank vault, if I remember correctly. Both jewels were supposed to be exhibited together in Cairo for the first time in 50 years. But one was stolen. Indeed. 